A Knock on the Window by Anonymous Narrated by Otis Gyrie I lay in my bed, restless and alone, on a dark and silent night. I toss and turn in my bed, trying to find a comfortable spot, but I feel uneasy. Something about tonight just didn't feel right. I toss and turn until I finally find a comfortable position. I close my eyes, but it doesn't make a difference. It's too dark in my room to see uh, anything, anyways. I guess it takes time for my eyes to adjust to darkness. I lay there, still and silent, on a dark and dank night. My body's relaxed, my mind is blank, and I'm ready for some much-needed rest. Instantly, the silence is shattered, and my mind fills with fearful thoughts as my startled eyes flash open. It's almost undoubtedly the sound of a fist on a glass. But no, it couldn't be. What would someone's motivation be to wake someone alone in their home? Think logically. If someone wanted to break in, why would they warn me with a knock? They'd just break in, making a loud and obvious noise, or try to be as silent as possible. Why would they knock? Monsters don't exist. I could give myself some peace of mind and simply look out the window, but I'm facing the other way and I'm too timid to turn my head, afraid of finding my greatest fears standing outside my window. What could it be, though? Maybe a couple of birds flew into my window. Nah, that's too unrealistic. Could a group of kids be running around late at night knocking on windows to get a few laughs? Well, that's a possibility. Come to think of it, maybe it was my imagination. Maybe I heard the usual creak in the house, and my paranoid mind has mistaken it for a knock. Nope, that definitely wasn't my imagination. Those damn kids are persistent. They don't want to quit until they get that reaction. Maybe some sick, twisted freak is standing outside waiting for me to look so he can smash through and attack me. Nah, I don't think that. Don't get paranoid. Besides, he's outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Besides, I haven't moved yet. Hopefully, those kids will think I'm a heavy sleeper and leave me alone. Nope. It can't be kids. No kid would wait around this long just to get a reaction from one lonely guy. They'd just get bored and move along. But what could it be? Why would a serial killer target me, of all people? Think logically. Monsters don't exist. Don't get paranoid. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. But if it's not a monster or some sort of killer, what could it be? Just pretend to be asleep. Maybe they'll go away. Oh, God, I can't think of a noise I hate more than that persistent knock. Please, go away. Just leave me alone and let me be. There's no hope. It's going to get in here and do some sick and horrible things to me. Inhale. Take deep breaths. I can feel my heart pound out of my chest. Just relax. Monsters don't exist. Remember, they're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Repeat that. Don't let your fear get the best of you. Just pretend to be asleep. Don't move a muscle. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Just pretend to be asleep and pray it'll go away. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Fearful tears begin to drip down my face. Monsters don't exist. Monsters do not exist. I begin to whisper to myself, They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go mad listening to those knocks. At least, if I see what it is, I'll have a peace of mind. Take a deep breath, I repeat to myself one more time. They're outside. I'm inside until I hear a shatter. I know I'm safe. I take a few more breaths. My heart pounding as hard as it's ever pounded at a mile a minute. 
I slowly turn my head to face the window. Oh, my heart sinks into my chest, and I'm too afraid to scream or move. I turn my head to find a pale figure with beady black eyes staring through me and into my soul as a horrid grin creeps across its face. It was standing inside the whole time, knocking on my window.